Ethnic Music Tutorial. It's episode 192 and it is also episode 5 of our same chord sessions. That means this is the fifth episode that will use the same chord to start a new song. So basically I start from scratch but I use the same chord progression. Already did four other episodes. If you look, the four previous episodes are the episodes that I've done before. And today I'm gonna make something completely different. It's could be called electronic music if you want to. It's gonna be a film score, ambient, with some orchestral elements, and you know, something definitely, definitely different. 102 BPM, like I said, I'm gonna include some violence, some, some instruments, and it's gonna be completely different. About our live electronic music tutorials, guys, every single episode that I make is always real-time. That means you see the whole process, uncut, unedited, Sometimes it goes smashing, sometimes it's harder. I think this time is gonna be a good one, guys. And of course, when I'm done with Logic Pro X and I finish the episode, I take on the template, I put it some more work and I put it on our site, wemakedancemusic.com, along 5,000 other DAW templates. I already made 190 episodes and every single episode come with the template, guys, and they're only five bucks. So I think it is super good value to see the tutorial. If you like it, great. If you enjoy it, smash that like button. Just step near plus. And if you use Logic Pro and you really, really want to master the sound, you get the template for only five bucks. So check out for some rebate. You're probably gonna get the cheaper. So let's guys, let's get started on this brand new episode. It's winter here. I don't know if you guys are in Australia. I know there's some guys in Australia. They're pretty happy. Summer is coming here, or it's there already here. Well, it's cold. But stay in, do some music. So I loaded this pad. I think it's appropriate for this uh, for this start here. So that's it to start the mix. Well, I'm definitely gonna leave myself some room. And I will immediately take the pad and and go. And I would uh, really, really to get a bit more feel out of it right away. I'm gonna turn the bass part into a bass, really. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to go lower, depends on what will be. I think there's a pad here. Drop the filter. It's a motion pad, it's not quite a pad. So I'm gonna go then into some pads and check out my favorites here. This one could be good if we filter it. Still too loud. So if you guys make this type of music or any type of music, if you start the mix and it's balanced already, it's already a plus because I want some juice in the bass, some presence. And these these airy pads takes a lot of room. So I think what I will do is I will cut the top end a little bit. So I have a little bit less. Ooh, I like it actually better like this. I'm gonna have room. Okay, again, the instruments one by one, very important in this type of music that it's all crafted. Change the attack a little bit. I just want the lows. I will go even further and compress them to really contain them, like put them together really to so they will not oscillate so much. Slower release, really fast attack. So it is there. To me it covers some frequency. However, I I 
I think I can do better. Up the bed. Definitely much more cinematic. Just the lows. Very good. I think I'll go straight up into some strings, guys. Here I'm gonna go orchestral strings. Mm. I like the cellos, they have like a bigger, like a big, big presence. I really enjoy. So, let's see if we can bring in the cello. is more dramatic and create because they feel a little quite unnatural because there's no space designer space designer because they kind of cut too abruptly I would like them to extend so they just kind of restart so we're gonna solve this by adding a reverb so it will continue, at least like the reverberation will continue. It will sound like much, much smoother. Uh, center verb, no. So once the other element will kick in, it will also So what I will do next is I will continue in the orchestral realm. That will not be all orchestral guys, I will definitely add some electronic elements later. But now <clears throat> I will go into orchestral brass, I like a French horn. Oh bass, no, not bass brass. Uh, Horns, single instrument. Hmm, not what I'm looking for. Mm. Mm. Brass. Ah. I took a French horn solo here. I'm gonna leave this one full. I'm gonna send this to the same reverb as earlier. If, if I go up, no, this was right in the right tone. this one to to our reverb I'm gonna replicate this French horn I'm gonna get a second horn to play the lower melody so to counter this one
think we can expand a little bit. I'm gonna do the same trick with my orchestral here. I'm gonna take the bass, only the bass, send it to one cello. And I think I will even It's a pretty simple chord for this type, but if we work it and we really put the work in, I think I think we can make something very cinematic, very strong, film score-y kind of thing. I think now I will go with a piano. I'm gonna take, I like better the Yamaha somehow. Some people swear by Stainway and stuff like that. This this Yamaha piano for me is perfect. It's just sound. turn it into a dance track as per but just a bit of vibe maybe Definitely need some reverb. it a little bit better with just a little touch here. I'm tempted by trying a few other forms of piano. Well, I can hear only the top. like the hammers are, are just not as intense on the strings. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna cut the top, which seemed to be weird if you do orchestral, but <laughs> that means I will put it in a different spot in the room if I would have to govern the orchestra and, and just get a certain bit out of it, not so much of the top end, or maybe close the lid. And I think now... This bass is, is low. Oh, let's, let's make it even more intense. I replicated it, take it, and I'm gonna do another instance of it. I could do a chord in the same, but it would not be the same. Oh, it's actually better there, somehow. Other. 
think I would keep the sub, the very sub for a bit later on in the track. I think I'm tempted to add my ARP, which is my, one of my style. I do this a lot in a lot of the track because I've done a lot of those type of orchestral electronic kind of track and I like to put uh, an arpeggiator in the back. And if you like this type of music, orchestral, electronic mixed together, guys, I made a whole album of it. It's called Explorers. Check it out. Called Type Mikas Explorers. Gonna find it. It's uh, 10 pieces of this style, but I really hit the nail. I don't know. There's something about this album that came true at a time in my life that, that was really, really rich. So you have to check this out, guys. Mikas Explorers. So let's go into Retro Synth here. Boom. Take an arpeggiator. Boom. Start it. Cut the top. Then we can I think I am a little bit high. chunky in the mix but this it's a bit tough so I'm gonna have to what I want from this is really the mid lows around 200 to 1000 ish you can hear it I think I even have a bit too much top here really I had like an intricate feel in those frequencies Do a view secondary ruler. I'm gonna check where we're at and replicate that. About this length here it should be about two minutes. Yeah, I give it another one. So that's it, guys. This is gonna be the template. Once I'm done, I said that's it because this is the length of it that I just set up. And since we're making good progress in this episode. We can start building a track and add some element and, and build it up really so I think this instrument here I will go into orchestral percussions orchestral kit reopen the musical typing here is it here no oh no not that it is here like that need to be obviously a bit I did like this second hit here it was This for now. Cut 
this for now. try to play a little piano melody on top of that but I have a little bit of doubts guys but uh something maybe something very simple hey for that I'm gonna need a bigger reverb something grandiose I'd like to say take that here so reverb Adios. And then of course for this part, I will leave the top open. close but that would have been better so here just a little descent here so I like this little bit here sure it's gonna work so well Yeah, because the time is marked by the drums and there's gonna be other elements to it so I like that not complicated but it does definitely add to the track here I 
not to say that most of the parts are solo now and we're working on a bit of a different part that we were working before, but still. It's a good on the piano. It's, for me, it's much harder to do that with a piano. With a synth, always seem easier. With a piano, if it isn't exactly hit, it just doesn't seem to glue to the track. So let's try to add. Mm, very nice with this. Add some horns. Let's put some extra large reverb on there too. Let's trigger this filter a bit more here. See, around, around 1,500, the little filter there, very good. Just put it in the mix a bit better. A bit more sub. For the big, big emotional moment, bring back the horns here. Put them in the reverb room. The low cellos. Our pad. That I think I can push a little bit now just to see how is it gonna fit with the strings. Nice air, definitely nice air on there. I think we have all the elements now, guys. Probably a bit more drums, but not so much. Just something in in the back, just to to keep things hot. And then the arp. Let's put it in the mix properly. And then now it's crowded, so I have to push the main lead back up, but I still have some headroom here. The harp is bugging me a little bit, it's a bit too much here. I just want to feel it a little bit, not so much to hear. So, I like the cellos, I think there's something missing. Well, not literally missing, but we can add something that will add to the track. The cinematic got a nice top airy. Very nice, but I think we need more strings. I would say some violence. A little bit higher in the range than the cellos. gonna cut the lows almost completely. Hello? I just want the very top of them. Put them into the room. play a little trick on this piano I want a little bit more out of it so I'm gonna compress it I just wanted to have a bit more impact on the hit so and to stand out in the mix
nice with the R, definitely nice. I think we deserve a little bit more orchestral element, guys. Mm. I think some timpani would be nice. So they're gonna be, they're gonna be tuned. I think I'm gonna try something funky. I'm gonna stick an arp on there. Not really funky, but I want to take the lows. It's not low enough. And then put it a little bit. I think I can even go lower. Ah. This is just a background. Without? With? We could make it more natural by putting some swings to it. Where's my swings? Oh. No, it's quite swung. Now we can go a bit overboard by changing the pattern. This one was actually interesting. Wow. I'm not sure if this is made for drums, but this works very well on drums. We're exploring, guys. We're going deeper and deeper into this orchestral realm. Like I said, there's a bit of electronic, maybe not so much really right now, but uh, this is still made only with Logic Pro X, no plugins used, guys. So I'm gonna drop the timpani here with the orchestral kit. And guys, this is gonna be it for episode 192 of Your Live Electronic Music Tutorials. Thank you very much for watching the shows, guys. If you get a second, smash that like button. Always help other people to see the videos. If you get a second, check out this template. I'm gonna put on some more work into it, make it into a two minute template. You can get for only five bucks on our side. But again, the most important thing, guys, may the songs be with you.